right, thanks, Ali. All new tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Our man Mike Randall is on a mission to find family-friendly places that you can get to and back on one tank of gas. In tonight's one tank getaway, he heads into northern, well, no, he heads north into southern Ontario for a fun history lesson. Take a look. It's a small trip with a big payoff. The St. Catharines Museum is about 45 minutes north of Buffalo, and curator Kathleen Powell knows every square inch. Well, in theory, but <laughs> sure. You can't kick the tires on this 1912 St. Catharines made Rio, but you can appreciate its classic beauty. Rio stands for Ransom E. Olds, who uh, started the company uh, to make cars uh, under a different name other than Oldsmobile. Here you'll discover that St. Catharines was the end of the Underground Railroad and home to one of its greatest crusaders. One of our most recognizable residents was Harriet Tubman. Canadian history overlaps American history. Nowhere is that more evident than in this World War I display. So there were quite a number of Americans that uh, skipped across the border to uh, to join up with the uh, the forces here so that they could get involved in the war right from the start because Americans joined the war just a little bit later than the, uh, the Canadians did. Check out this bullet pulled from Private Percy Bradshaw. He carried the bullet around in his pocket for the rest of his life. It's almost like a good luck charm. And here's the diary of a nurse who served on the front lines. Quite an interesting and very kind of heart-wrenching look at the war from the from the women's perspective, the non-soldier perspective. How about the surprise discovered inside this World War I uniform? So it's a hundred year old cigarette, which I think is quite interesting. <laughs> right outside the museum is lock number three of the Welland Canal. You're almost within touching distance of some of the Lakers that come in here, so it's pretty cool. The chance to see skyscraper-sized ships move carefully through this man-made and engineering feat is popular with the picture takers. Stan Kukulka of South Buffalo was impressed. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's very, it's, it's really amazing. They make it user friendly here with a convenient walkway for spectators and all you have to do is check the convenience schedule board to find out when the ships are going through the lock. A visit to St. Catherine's Museum, fascinating, fun, and did I leave anything out? We're open nine to five every day and admission is always by donation. That makes the St. Catherine's Museum and lock number three a picture perfect one tank getaway.